Good morning, Mount Pilgrim, and happy Sunday. My name is Nomika Guillory, and you are watching Pilgrim News. We are very blessed and fortunate to have with us in our house, Mrs. Etta Peet. She is the founder and director of the Sickasil Anemia Foundation of Southwest Louisiana. So we are glad to have her worshiping with us today on Sunday. Ms. Etta, welcome. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tell us who you are and how this organization got started here in Southwest Louisiana. Okay, I am the executive director of Southwest Louisiana Sickle Cell Anemia. And it, I became involved with Sickle Cell because my husband was the roommate, college roommate of a, uh, someone who started all the organizations in Louisiana. And some way our area was left out after a period of time. So he asked me would I take it on, and so I did. I thought this would be something that I could do after I retired from teaching. Okay, and so how long have you, so you started the foundation, the, the I, organization. Right. And so how long ago was that? In 2005. Wow, so 14 years 14 we have been years. serving. For the viewers who are watching who are not sure what it is and who it impacts, what is sickle cell? Sickle cell is a disease that affects the red blood cells. What happens is there are, our veins were designed to have round, smooth cells to right. go through it. But the people that have sickle cell disease, some of their cells get shaped like a sickle or a quarter moon, and they're hard, which means that it's hard for it to go through a vein that's designed for a round, soft blood cell. The other thing is this, how you contact it. I guess that's mm -hmm. how most people want to know. What happens is each one of us is a combination of one gene from our mom and one gene from our dad. And what happens if there's a person that has what we call sickle cell trait. If one, if they have the trait, one cell in that person is round, the other one is sickle cell. And so what happens if these two people marry, each one of them have the trait, then there's a chance that the child will have the disease. Because there's a one in four chance that the child will have sickle cell disease, one in four chance that the child will have the trait, and 50% chance that the child will be normal. That is at every pregnancy. At every pregnancy. Right. Wow. Wow. Is there a cure for sickle cell? Yes, there is. It's a bone marrow transplant. And what has to happen is that bone marrow is extracted from a sibling that has the same mom and same dad. And they take the bone marrow from this uh, sibling. The other sibling who has sickle cell disease has to be depleted. They have to have chemo and blood taken from it, like a blood exchange. Mm -hmm. And then the marrow is extracted into them. And what happens is the hope is that the healthy bone marrow will replace the one. Be successfully right. transferred. Right. Over. right. Okay. But you have to watch it because each one of them, of them are growing. Remember right. that's two people growing in right. it. So you got to be sure that one the, uh, the good cells overtake the sickle cells. Okay. okay. So tell us what's on the horizon. What do you need from the community? How can we support the foundation, the organization? Uh, what's coming up for sickle cell? Okay, one of the best ways to uh, support sickle cell is to be an advocate because like we think that it is only an African-American disease. Right. If we can be an advocate, we can find that number one, there are different types of sickle cell disease. We have sickle cell anemia, which is SC and SS. Then we have beta thalassemia nub, beta thalassemia plus. We have hemoglobin C. And you know, when you say all these things, people go, wow. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I thought know. it was yes. just sickle cell anemia. Of course, there's a, lo a low blood count with, it, with all of it. But we need to know these things. So we need the community to know this. And let everybody know that it's just not a disease that affects African Americans. So after we advocate for sickle cell, then there are ways that you can help. Uh, I spoke with you earlier and I told you that deaconesses uh, in the area donate water and power aid because these people need fluid so that the blood can flow easy. And then we also have fundraisers every year. We have an annual luncheon, we have an annual walk, and every two years we have a red tie gala. Okay. 
upcoming event on September the 23rd is a documentary, and it is on one of our clients from Opelousas named Don Valiant. It's going to show his journey through sickle cell. When he made the documentary, it was just on a kidney transplant. But then later, God called him home. So it's his whole journey in life with sickle cell. So that will be on September 23rd, 6 p.m. at Epps Library on Simmons Street. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, let's try and support Miss Etta Pete and all of her efforts for sickle cell right here, right here in our own community. Get out and support the walk. Get out and support the annual luncheon. And of course, support this documentary that's coming out at Epps Library again on September the 23rd and it's September free. 23rd. And it's free. You yes. know we like free Mount Pilgrim. <laughs> so we want to thank Miss Etta Pete for coming to Mount Pilgrim again and worshiping with us today. Please help me congratulate her and give her a round of applause. Amen. <laughs> As always, Mount Pilgrim, we pray with our preachers every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and we invite you to join us on the prayer line at 6 a.m. Stay connected with Mount Pilgrim through Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And as always, my name is Nomika Guillory, and you have been watching Pilgrim News.